Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome back to another Ram Shower tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to easily get started with FileZilla. But before we get into this tutorial, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more tutorials if you're enjoying these. Now, starting out, you want to head to your control panel. And on the control panel on the left sidebar, you see a list of options. Click where it says Files. That'll drop down some more options. You want to go click on FTP File Access from there. Now you're going to see this area that has your FTP address, your FTP port, your FTP username, and your password. Now that password is actually the control panel password, the same one you use to log in. So let's go ahead and open up FileZilla. Now on FileZilla, you're going to see where it says File. Go ahead and click on that, then click Site Manager. Once you do that, click on the New Site option. And then the new site, you can name whatever you want. Now you're going to see Protocol. You want to keep that FTP. Now the host is going to be the FTP address from your FTP file access page on the control panel. So you want to go ahead and copy that over. You can use Control C and Control V. The port you can leave blank or you can fill it in with 21, but it will automatically assume the port is 21. Then your username you want to go ahead and copy over from the FTP file access area of the control panel. Now you also want to go ahead and paste in your password or type it in. Now once you finish with that, you can click connect. This will connect you to the FTP server. Now you can also use a quick connect option, that is a bar above where you see right below the file edit view button so that where it says host, it says username, password and port. You would fill in the same information then just click quick connect. But if you want to easily go back to your FTP often, just add it to the site manager, it makes it a lot easier. Now once you're in FileZilla, you'll see a few options here. You're going to see the main area and then you're going to see a whole bunch of folders and stuff. This main area you first get into is actually home or root directory. And then to upload files to FileZilla, you easily will just drag and drop them from your desktop like so. Now you can add whatever files you want into your Minecraft FTP client as long as they relate to your Minecraft server. And then that's how you easily get started with FileZilla. Thanks for watching.